right now on Up With Krem. Remembering former WSU coach Mike Leach and the legacy he leaves behind. Whether you're uh, a player or a coach is to have the opportunity to see or do something uh, bigger than you currently are. A committed coach, the family of former WSU players speak about Leach's commitment on and off the field. It's a tough day for all the Cougs, for sure, and, and so many in the college football sports world. A day to remember. We look back at Mike Leach's 2018 record-setting season and the first time ESPN came to the Palouse. We have a small snow day on the horizon, plus more freezing fog for your morning commute. Up with Krim begins now. All right, this is a live look at I-90 near Sullivan right now, and you can see even though the snow is still falling, it's looking like traffic is moving along pretty smoothly for your morning commutes today. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us here on Up With Krim on this Wednesday morning. I'm Channing Curtis. And I'm Tim Pham. Well, if you look outside your window, if you haven't already, you're going to see some light snow, a light dusting on your vehicle. I know I thought it was actually some frost this morning. <laughs> Luckily, it just brushed right off. It was oh, yeah. great. Nicole Hernandez told us this would happen. And uh, Nicole, it's still snowing right now. When's the snow expected to kind of move out? It is. So we're kind of right on the edge of it right now. So some of us in Spokane might be seeing it stop. Some of us still could have a few flurries here and there. But we're just right on the edge as we head into our 8 o'clock hour this morning. Uh, Moses Lake also on the edge, standpoint on the edge as well. This storm is going to continue moving its way southeast of us. So out there in the Palouse, you guys are going to stick with it for a little bit longer than the rest of us. As this continues, is moving its way out though for the rest of the day into tomorrow. We're left with cloud cover and the chance for a few little flurries here and there as the moisture continues moving out. But today, as we continue to see some of that snow, we're also seeing fog in our region. You can see how widespread that is. A lot of fog in a lot of places this morning and our visibility has not really been improving all that much as the morning has continued. Right now we're at one mile visibility in Coeur d'Alene and Sandpoint, one and a quarter mile visibility in Deer Park, one and a half just west of Spokane, 1.75 here in Spokane and a half mile down in Pullman and three quarter mile down in Lewiston. So the Palouse definitely the worst spot for fog right now. And you guys are sticking with the snow more than the rest of us as well. So we can see a lot of that fog out, out there in North Idaho right now. Uh, I can't really tell. It looks like it's snowing still a little bit. Yep, there it is. There's a little bit of snow still in North Idaho as well. So again, that's going to start moving its way out as the morning continues. 27 degrees here in Spokane and similar across the region. 26 in Wenatchee, 30 in Moses Lake, 27 in Spokane, 28 in Coeur d'Alene, and 30 in Sandpoint. This morning, we are remembering the life of former WSU head football coach Mike Leach, who died Monday night following complications from a heart condition. Friends, family, players, coaches, and fans from around the sports world are mourning the loss of this beloved coach. So Krim 2 Sports Director Travis Green is taking a look back at Coach Leach's career and the legacy he's leaving behind. Simply put, Mike Leach was one of a kind, an individual that was fearlessly himself, something he did in his coaching career and what a career it was. Acclaimed as the architect of the innovative and record-setting air raid offense alongside Hal Mummy, Leach was a three-time National Coach of the Year and three-time Power Five Conference Coach of the Year. He won a pair of Power Five Conference titles and led his teams to 19 bowl games during his 21-year head coaching career. A high school football player who spent five years competing in rugby at BYU, Leach earned a master's degree from the U.S. Sports Academy and is Juris Doctor from Pepperdine University before taking over the offensive line responsibilities at Cal Poly in 1987. Leach earned his first head coaching job at Texas Tech in 2000, proving his record-setting air raid offense worked in his decade-long career with the Red Raiders, in which he compiled an 84-43 record with 10 straight bowl appearances while becoming the winningest coach in program history. He then took his air raid to Pullman in 2012 and turned the Cougars program around. In seven years, Leach guided WSU to five bowl game appearances, including each of the last four seasons, a program first. During the record-setting 2018 season, Leach led the Cougs to an 11-2 record, where the Cougs were ranked at number 8 for four straight weeks. 
Leach traded Pullman for Starkville and became the head coach of Mississippi State. The Bulldogs went 15 and 10 in the last two seasons with Leach compiling a 158 and 107 overall record as a head coach at the collegiate level. Leach is survived by his wife Sharon of over 30 years, their four children and three grandchildren. Mike Leach was 61 years old. So when you think of Mike Leach's time in Pullman, there's really one year that really stands out. During that 2018 season, Leach and the Cougars set a program record with 11 wins, and they did so with a transfer quarterback by the name of Gardner Minshew running the offense. Minshew transferred from East Carolina and was not sure he'd ever start as a quarterback again. That was until Leach gave him the chance to come to Pullman and compete for the starting job. Fast forward and Minshew became a star. He threw nearly 4,800 yards and 38 touchdowns. We spoke with Minshew's father, Flint, who is thankful for what Leach did for his son and for his friendship. Well, you know, for my family and my son specifically, I mean, he, he changed the tra trajectory of his life. You know, he gave him a legit opportunity, believed in him. And I don't think Gardner would be where he is now had it not been for, you know, the the year he was with Leach, we, we will forever be grateful, and, and, and we're so we're so sad he's gone. But I tell you, I'm so happy because I mean, just in the few years we've known him, I mean, I you know some I could tell, and then a few I couldn't tell, but I could tell some great stories on uh, some great times I've had with Coach Leach. Well, Flint says each, or Leach rather, was unlike any other. He treated everyone the same. Minshew, of course, now in his fourth year with the NFL with the Philadelphia Eagles as a backup quarterback. Now, we also got the chance to hear from WSU's director of athletics, Pat Chun. He says Coach Leach loved to have fun and loved learning about life. Yesterday morning, the Cougs actually hit the road to Los Angeles for the Jimmy Kimmel L.A. Bowl. And as the Cougs head to California, Chun says the team will do things that Leach always celebrated. As we leave for Los Angeles today, this is this is really um, a part of the legacy that Coach Leach left behind here at Washington State. Uh, we love him. We appreciate him. He's got deep relationships with a lot of people in and around Washington State. For Cougs everywhere, we're heartbroken today for him and his family. But um, you know, we'll we'll it's it's just a tough day for everybody. Following the announcement of Leach's death, a memorial was set up in WSU's Martin Stadium on the video board, remembering Leach's legacy on the school's football program. For a recap of our coverage on Mike Leach's accomplishments and how the community is respond or remembering him, you can head to Creme 2 Plus on it. You'll find everything we showed this morning, every interview, every reaction, and every moment of Leach's career. Just head on over to Roku or Amazon Fire to download the app. A month since someone murdered four University of Idaho students in a home near the school's campus, law enforcement still has not given us much information into the investigation. We do know, though, that right now authorities want to speak with anyone who was inside a white Hyundai Elantra as they believe a car just like this one that's on your screen was near the King Road home around the time of the murders. And whoever was in the car could have critical information about this case. Now, if you have any information about that car or anything else regarding the investigation, contact the Moscow Police tip line at 208-883-7180. You can also send them an email to the email address that's on your screen. Well, could Washington drivers soon be paying for every mile they drive? We break down the possibility of new legislation. That's coming up in the next five minutes. Well, taking a live look outside on this Wednesday morning as the snow continues to fall here throughout the Inland Northwest. You can see somebody is over there shoveling the sidewalk right now. But that's nice. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's super sweet. Well, good morning, Inland Northwest, and we appreciate you all for joining us this morning and for starting off your day with us. We have more Up With Crim still ahead.